So welcome everybody and today I'm going to give you a little bit of information about the workbench. So first of all, how do we make a workbench? As you see, we can find it here. We will need to make 25 forged stein and get 20 mechanical parts, a wrench, a claw hammer and 50 pieces of wood. And not only do you need to find all that material, but you'll also need to get your quest get your quest, get your skill, your construction tool skill up to 20, which will then unlock the workbench, which will cost you 15 points. You can do that and make your own lovely workbench, or you can just steal yourself one by getting a wrench and it comes away, just like um, the forge and the chemistry station. Now, obviously you can find forge in the forge houses, these uh, workbenches can be found around the petrol stations or gas stations, pumping go or gassing go, uh, whatever they're called. And the chemistry stations, can, which are these things, uh, can be found in the pop and pills. So if you do want a video of the chemistry station, please, you know, uh, drop me a comment, give me a like, and um, I'll know that you guys want to. Uh, another video and it'll be worthwhile doing. So going back to the workbench uh, there's a new feature that's uh, being added these things that you can combine so you can combine two different items and you will get a better quality item as you can see there 511 it doesn't matter which round you do it you'll get the same result um, so now the big thing about this is in Alpha 15 they've also introduced um, a thing where like for sh anything that you can craft even if you max out your skill at 100 you will only be able to get 500 off craft 500 quality items which means that you'll either to get between 500 and 600 you'll need to be able to either combine them to get a better result or you'll need to find them um, so it makes the game a little bit more interesting for the actual uh, top quality things like for an example these are stuff uh, that a friend of mine has crafted because he's maxed out his tools but as you see there they're only at 500 so you'd need to make two of these uh, I believe two of them will give you 550 uh, two 500s but you'll have to um, check that out yourself so that's the uh, you can do that with pretty much any item as you see here get a better item don't need to be the same colour either. You, can, you get the picture. Um, now, also, there's certain things if you go into your backpack. Uh, we can make, for an example, handlebars. Oh, wait a minute. No, we can't make handlebars because now these are only available to be made in here. So you go handlebars. So they're available to be made. Obviously, you still need to learn the book for handle uh, mini bike handlebars. And there's other things as well, like duct tape. That can be made actually outside. Uh, but mechanical parts. These can only be made in the workbench. So if you look here. So you get the picture. There's a lot of things uh, they've added, which can only be done in the workbench. I also believe as well, which is definitely the case for the chem station, is you get more out of it as well. It is more efficient. However, um, even though it does free up your inventory to be crafting things, so if you are in a rush and you need to make loads of bullets and arrows, you can obviously craft two things at once, but you don't get any XP unless you're actually in the window. If you're in this window and they're crafting, you will gain XP. But if they're crafting, you could be stood right outside of it and you're not going to gain any XP whatsoever. So that's just a quick video of the workbench. I might also do a beginner's guide. I've done them in the past for Alpha 13 and Alpha 14. Um, I might do a quick video on the chemistry station as well. Um, so if you guys do like the video, uh, and it is worth my time doing, then uh, drop me a comment and uh, drop me a like. So thanks for watching, and happy gaming.